Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today is the day we're going to learn how to play Mr. Brightside by The Killers. All of it. whole thing. It's going to be fun. Uh, real quick, uh, hopefully you'll go to my website, GuitarLessons365.com. I've got a lot of premium guitar courses there. I'm giving free trials so you can just try it out. So hopefully you'll make your way over there and um, pretty much learn anything you want there. All right, so let's get to this song. We're tuned down a half step. We're tuned down to E flat. So it's going to be tuned down E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat. All right, so as soon as you get in that tuning, you play along with this lesson and the actual recording itself. So that opening little lick that I played is uh, pretty tricky. So let's go through it. It's really, if you can keep the picking consistent, it's not that difficult to play uh, because the chord form doesn't really move around that much. So let's start here. We're going to start with this 17th fret on the A string. Uh, got it all tied up myself. 17th on the A, 16th on the D, 19 on the G, and 17 on the B string. All right, so as soon as you have that chord in your hand, you just in the, the four middle strings, now you can start concentrating on the picking pattern, which is pretty consistent. Now, first four notes are going to be picking the A string with a downstroke, D string with a downstroke, upstroke on the G string, and downstroke on the D string. Now hop over to the high E string, which is open. You pick that with an upstroke, and then upstroke on the B string, and then the 17th, I mean the 9th, uh, up on the G. Let's go this. Now you're going to pick up these two fingers, so when you make it down to the D string here, you just came from an upstroke on the G, you're going to hit that with an upstroke, the open D. That open D helps you transition to the next chord, so we have this. The next chord is just going to simply have your first finger lay across the 16th fret on the A string and the D string, and you leave everything else the same. And we did the exact same picking and still let up on that last note to get this open D. Alright, and now the last chord in this part, you're going to have your come over to the low E string this time, 15th fret, and then the 16th fret on the D. So we're going to be skipping the A string here. So the picking pattern is the same here, except we're starting on the 5th string, I mean the 6th string, and you're going to skip the 5th. Everything else is the same. Now the first time I'm playing through this chord, since you picked the picking pattern through this chord twice, you don't pick up your finger to do the open D, you just leave it there and pick the uh, 16th fret, so it sounds like this. Now you pick through that chord again, and you pick up for the D when you're getting ready to change chords. So you're basically going to do that open D is going to be the last note every time you're changing uh, to a new chord. So all together. Alright, so that is the intro and it's uh, the verse to the song as well. Alright, from there we have, um, it goes into like a pre-chorus. Now this, I'm, I'm using less distortion he does so you can really hear the notes and how they're picked. But let me play through the pre-chorus for you, here we go. <laughs> Alright, so that requires a pretty big stretch there, it's kind of an unorthodox way of playing it. I've seen it played other ways, um, but this is the way he actually plays it, so that's how we're going to do it. You need to just check out some of their live videos as you can see it. So we're basically going to have the 7th fret here on the B string. Now you're going to have 
the seventh fret on the G, fifth fret on the B string, and then the open high E string. Now he's going to keep those three strings the same pitches for the entire this entire part, and he has bass line underneath it. So what we're going to be doing oh, is also the open D at all times too. So we have basically this. Here's this, here's the picking pattern. It's the same picking pattern that we did for the intro. You're just now picking. Uh, you have the fifth fret on the B, seventh fret on the G, open high E, open D and then the 7th fret on the low E. So start the picking pattern now on the 6th string, and then everything else is the same. Same picking pattern we did before. Repeat that. All right, now you're going to just replace this first finger with your second finger, just so you can prepare for the next chord. And But now you can just pick starting with this 5th string, the same picking pattern starting with the 5th string. So that open A was the uh, next root note. And then the G note with your, that's why we, we put that, we went ahead and replaced that note here. The G with your first finger on the low E string. Now the picking pattern is the same, except obviously it starts on the sixth string this time. It's done twice as long, and then back through the chords. Now we've made it to the chorus. Let me play through it real quick for you. So that gets a little tricky at one part, but we're going to start with something pretty simple. Straight up string on the up stroke, that is, on the G string, over to the down stroke on the D string. So we're going to have uh, the 11th fret on the G and the 12th on the D. Just up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Then change the note on the G string to the um, 12th fret. Then the 14th fret. So we have this. Now jump down here, take this shape, and move it down five frets to the seventh fret. So it's the seventh and then ninth here. And this you're gonna move the melody note all, every single time. So the seventh fret stays the same on the D, but it's nine on the G. Still doing up down, and then seven on the G. Then six, and back to the seven. Go back through that exact same thing again. And then we have this little part. All right, so what's going on there? We have, at first, it's just a standard um, D major arpeggio. We're going to have five on the high E string, seven on the B, seven on the G. So you're going to pick across those three strings, let them ring. Pick across them twice, starting from the first string. Go back to the high E string, and then skip over to the G string and just hit it open. So we have... Now as you did that, shift up to the seventh fret and pick across here again twice, starting from the first string. So we have the seventh fret here on the high E, eighth on the B, and the open G there. Picked across twice and once again then picked the first string and the open G. So all together so far. Then come up here to the 
10th fret on the high E, uh, 10th fret on the B as well. And you're going to pick those two strings, one after the other, with the open D string. So we have this. And you're going to end it with um, the first string and then the open G. So we have this. All together here. Same ending that we did to the other part, and then this goes back to. And then we're just back to the same thing that we open the chords with. It just goes through that again. And then it takes you back to the verse, the same verse with that we did earlier. So now there is a little guitar breakdown when the, the kind of guitar is pretty much doing stuff by himself and it sounds like this. Alright, so that's just, we're up here, he's doing up, down, up, down again, starting with 11, 12 a couple times, and then 12 on the G, and then 14 is with us. So that melody on the G string is just 11, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 11. Then 11 a few more times, and then 12, and then that same ending. Now sometimes, especially this part, he'll just, he won't go, he'll do this. Just stop on that one, and then slide back up, so we have this. So just get that melody down, and you'll you know get it nailed pretty quickly. And then at the end of that part, it goes back into the chorus, but it just repeats this part over and over again. It doesn't go to that second half of the chorus, so this just sticks with the easy part. And then it ends with three chords. It's like this. So you've already been playing those shapes, except you've just been arpeggiating them. Open A string, the 7th fret on the D, 9th fret on the G, then 7 on the G, the same 3 strings, then 6 on the G. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for GuitarLessons365.com.